riding, your grip has gotten stronger. Guess your hard work has paid off. Jack, you're great! How happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune, lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry, kill me, please. All right, ladies and gents, Sinister 01 is back at you. We have got more Metal Gear Solid 2. This is a very, very easy fight, as you'll clearly see here. All you gotta do is pretty much just keep get her attention a little bit. Just keep moving around left and right, really. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You can't hurt her. Don't go too much to the bottom of the screen, and you actually stick to the screen, and then you won't be able to dodge her moves. So just keep constantly moving and stuff, and then the fight will be over before you know it. You can just barely see the, um, the kind of redness of her laser sight. So as soon as you hear that kind of move, just move. Or you hear that kind of sound little room part, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Other than that, it's fairly simple. Right here. You gonna come and get me? It's a little bit harder to dodge your moves here now. Blowing everything up, and there we go. Right now, Fat Man just contacted us directly. Fat Man called us? Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you. What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the time. 300 seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes. This could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right. I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, really. 
but he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later. Then. Now! was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> How long will you force me to live? How much longer, Dad? You've punished me enough. You could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> once already. Them. I can't die twice. Alright, so we got 300 seconds left on the clock. Fairly easy to get to where we need to, although things have changed, guards in different places, and a couple of obstacles in our way. But we're gonna make it easily. You can either go left or right to get into the strat. We're going to go right because I feel it's a little bit easier. Don't forget that there are mines placed now on each side, so no matter what you do, you're going to have to crawl to pick up these claymores first. I like to go this way, uh, considering that it's a little bit easier to get past this guy here than it is on the other side. There's uh, two, two guys, one on each side. I, I figure that this one's just a little bit easier. You can just kind of get right by him. Now, as far as the guy that's on the FA connecting bridge, if you just keep going straight, you won't have to worry about him. As he will start to patrol, or go down pretty much, and he turns around the other way so you don't even have to worry about him. This part here is a little bit more tricky. Of course, since we, I think there's like four or five guys on this part of the level. And of course, we're going to sneak around. Uh, we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing that we did the last time that we were in this area, except this time we're going to kind of continue in one smooth motion and we're going to be able to get by. Because before we had some other stuff to get, you know, like the bombs and whatnot, but now we don't have to worry about the bombs, so we can just keep going. Like a glove. Alright, as far as this next part goes, we've already took out some of the mines. So uh, as soon as you get up here, um, you can actually make it before the guard starts patrolling this little area. Just slow your roll right here so you can get by that one mine that we didn't take care of and then you can pretty much keep going forward. That's only if you have put the mines in the places where I did. 
Now, as far as the Strut E Parcel Room, fairly easy. Uh, just a little bit more time consuming, but you just gotta wait for the right time. Alright, so wait for them two to meet up. Don't worry about this guy that uh, does that. The one that's ahead of us, he doesn't turn around. So we're just waiting for the guy that's on the complete right to do his thing. And then we're golden. You can actually sneak up on this guy. Stay to the right and you won't have to worry about him. Nice. <laughs> I love when I do that shit. And now we have made it to the heliport. Lots of time to spare. Normally I would do my 007 at the end of timer, but we just got too much time left. Now the Fat Man battle is easy and hard at the same time. Um, I don't really have a strategy for it, so hopefully we're going to be able to um, complete it and it won't take too much time. But it can be a time consuming battle um, if you really don't know what you're doing. So. And we're ready to do it. So you're the one. You're right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Is he dead, Sal? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. And the most. Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. And life. Don't you tell me this I used to hang around department store clock counters. Short. Bombs tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Oh. Yum. Good year. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple to be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history. As the man who beat Peter Stillman, that's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman! He had your number! What did you say? You have nothing of his courage, or... <laughs> what are you laughing at? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago! Six months ago? The liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want. Only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. So that I could become the Emperor among detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember. How oh, dare you! I'm an artist! That is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party. This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move. All right, ladies and gents, let's do it. Alright, it gives us plenty of time. Hey, where'd you go? Before we actually get that one, since we have plenty of time.
Alright, so usually that one's kind of the easier one to make sure you can get a lot of shots. Let's find out where he is. Alright, he's, he's in bomb mode now. When he's in bomb mode, then the first thing you want to do is start grabbing the bombs as soon as possible. He will not start the clock until he is done. Alright, so we got 39 seconds, and he'll usually wait around by the last bomb, so that means we'll have plenty of time. means he fell. I don't know where he fell. Ah, he was all the way up. So you can see it can be a little hard to get him sometimes. Alright, so we weren't able to grab him there, but that's alright. I hate it when he moves right in. Alright, that was a good hit shot. Alright, we got him halfway now. Ah, you can see sometimes it didn't even register there. Alright, so he's in bomb setting mode. He's gonna find the one that he did. We need to reload and get some more ammunition. We're about halfway done, I guess. Alright, he's already back in bomb mode again. Like I said, I'm not one of those speed demons that can do these, like, super fast. See, the bombs get kind of lower and lower. It's Come on. One bomb left. There it is. Alright, he's almost down. He's got some mad skating skills, don't he? Alright, we almost got him. I think one or two more hits. Get 
got him. One bomb to do. Oh, maybe it won't make us do it because he didn't get a chance to arm it yet, I guess. Sweet. My suit. Oh, no. I have nothing to wear to the party. The party's over for you. That's what you think. What do you mean? What did you just do? What is this? I have beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. Answer me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb of the entire place. Huh? No use. Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? Go ahead, shoot me, I'm already dead. Damn! Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb! That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy, too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat. All right, we know exactly where the bomb is because we're not a complete douche. But uh, it was kind of uh, interesting if you didn't know this already, you know, we're trying to figure it out and whatnot. Peter Steelman's tags. Unfortunately, we don't get Fat Man's tags. And he was right, it is the biggest bomb. Good work, Raiden. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. One of their main leverages is now gone. That leaves... Colonel, Fat Man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Mm. Raiden, a lot of hostages, Get real. our president included, Get are real. still in danger. Get Keep real. your mind focused on Get protecting real. them. <sighs> what are my orders? Rescue the president. We have no idea where he is. You haven't been in the central core yet. I suggest you start there. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take it? No, I'll go offline. Best to keep our presence unknown. How you doing, kid? Pliskin, is everything all right? Could be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? What about the bomb? Diffused. And Fat Man, too. That's good news. House Shell, too. It's a mess. The bomb crippled H Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Huh? Well, looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. But the central core is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the president and the other hostages? They weren't in Shell 2. They must be in Shell 1. We need to get the hostages out of here now. It's too far from Manhattan for a swim. What about the lifeboats? There doesn't seem to be any. Doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. And it comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about 30 hostages. It'd take more than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No, but I brought a gearhead with me. He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Pliskin, I'm on the heliport right now, but I don't see their Harrier. It's out somewhere. We better move now, then. Our chances with a Harrier after us are close to nothing. Do you know where the President is? No, that one's all yours. The President is at the top of our rescue list. These are our orders, Lieutenant J.G. Your orders, not mine. What? 
See you later. All right. I like how he's knocked out. Well, I wonder why it says he's knocked out. Like he didn't actually die. Well, we never really killed him, I guess. As you can see, he's just stunned. Would he, would he wake back up, you know, if you waited forever? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's go around and see if there's any miscellaneous stuff. We got a big cutscene up ahead, so we're just kind of looking around to make sure there's... Maybe fill ourselves back up. We only have... See, that's pretty much the only time we're ever really going to use the SOCOM, so that's not too bad. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and we're going to end with this big cutscene, and then we're going to continue on in the next part. Again, this is a great game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Let's bump up those views, bump up the likes, and um, you know, Splinter Cell Blacklist is coming up very soon. Cannot wait for that. I know you guys can't wait either. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace out. Bitches! Identify yourself. I'm like you. I have no name. Are you Mr. X? Mm, if you like. But come. Let's get out of the open. Follow me. Are you with Foxhound, too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lumelo. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. Whatever! I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the President. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the President. Who is it? A Secret Service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret Service, huh? The head of the President's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nanomachine system as the President. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but Get to real. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where are those hostages? <laughs>
a surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the Corps and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the Corps section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. Deception is not an option here. I suggest you hurry. They have a nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? You didn't find their continuing presence here unusual? Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. You saw it too, I believe. The Navy man would have a handcuff. The other half of it is on the football, or the black case if you like. The nuclear button. And now they have it. Why did they have to bring the football along? To a decontamination plant of all places. But they did have to. Get real. Because, after all, the big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. Nothing in this affair is what it seems. A cover up? But why? For what? For Metal Gear that is housed here. Metal Gear? The very same. My metal nuke came upon the airport Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do I need a cell phone for? <gasps> Colonel, who is that man just now? He's not one of ours. No, we have no one like that in our unit. He said that the big shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've Whatever. told you everything. Is that everything you know? Or everything I need to know? Snap out of it, Raiden. I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. So you believe that, Ninja? Since we have no leads on the President's current location, we have no other alternatives. Right now, collect as much data as you can, including anything on Metal Gear. Are those my orders? Yes, they are. Disguise yourself as an enemy soldier and infiltrate the Shell One Corps. Understood. Got a minute, Jack? Rose? I found some information on where Solid Snake is interred. Get real. Great. Shoot. I've located the gravesite. And the body? Exhumed for DNA testing. Well, do you have the results? The right arm was missing, but there was no doubt that it was him. That body belongs to Solid Snake. Hmm. So the head of the terrorist group must be... An imposter. Right. You sound disappointed. I guess. I guess I was kind of hoping to meet the legend in the flesh. I get you. But it looks like he's not behind this incident. Raiden, the president needs you, I think. Disguise yourself as enemy personnel and infiltrate the core section. Your priority is to contact Agent Ames.